Oh my god. Holy cow. Oh what is up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are here in the old Cahaba lake today i got maddie with me and today we're gonna do something pretty cool pretty interesting we got some catfish jugs and we got some bait so first we're gonna see if we can catch some bait fish around here in this area and then we're gonna cut them up and use them for catfish so today's gonna be a little catfish video um we have caught catfish before in this lake using the jug method and it has it went well i'm gonna pop up a picture here of one of the catfish we've caught before and also in this lake is really cool because the people that fish here they concentrate on the bass they don't really pay attention to like any other fish like the catfish or the catfish just keep growing bigger and bigger and bigger and yeah like i've even caught a 34 pound catfish here and i put a picture up here so yeah so the the catfish get really big in here so hopefully we'll catch some big ones for you guys we do have three jugs and one of them has two hooks so hopefully we'll catch like five but the chances are that we only catch like one big one so hopefully it'll work out um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned let's catch some bait and uh let's hook him up well all right guys we got our first fish you guys nice little i guess pumpkin seed or got a little brim it's gonna be cut up for some nice catfish all right now we got fish number two or should i say bait number two and we're gonna cut them up like that how maddie has it she's heading up a rig this little guy will set up these two other rigs then we're gonna toss them out and see what happens so you guys still tuned for that we're gonna toss them out over here closer to the island and then far back and then we'll be able to check on them tomorrow and see if we catch anything all right guys we got all three of our jugs set up now maddie's gonna toss them out here let's see Yep, there you go. Now we know. So the thing with these jugs is when they're laying like that horizontally, they basically they don't have, they don't have a fish. And when they're sitting right up, then that's when you know there's some weight, and uh, you got something pulling on the line, whether it's like a big fish or like a turtle or something. Yeah, we got we got the head right there of one of the big fish. We're gonna try to come up here. Usually the last time we did this we did one here and then one over there and we ended up catching one so we're gonna put one up there kind of just along this shoreline and that way we can we have a uh, I guess a good Let's put another one on. good chance yeah it should be fine last time it was super stormy so they moved around a lot but right now the water is super calm so hopefully they'll kind of stay put yep there you go also their debate it's not too far like from the noodle so it's only like three to four feet so we're kind of fishing shallow for these catfish so hopefully they'll come up hopefully the current will kind of push that smell and that scent of all of the dead fish and everything hopefully we'll get some good ones here's our second rig we got two baits on that good stuff. yeah that's one of my homemade rigs too the other ones I bought an academy so actually if you guys want like a little video on how to make your own jugs or like how to get cheaper ones out there then let me know i can make a video they're super they're super like budget friendly and they're super easy to make um, let's move farther. farther up all right hopefully the crane won't eat them because it's a little crane over there yeah there it goes all right let's hope we catch some big ones there it goes all right let's see so we still got a little piece right there to kind of chum the water we can go back to one of the other ones and toss it near near one of the other ones so now we we know we got three of these guys and best case scenario we catch four big catfish because this one right here has got two baits on them uh, worst case scenario i guess we catch none but hopefully every time every time i purposely come out here to catch catfish i catch at least one so that's good um but yeah so i guess we will see what happens we're gonna chum the water here a little bit with one of the baits and hopefully we'll have some good luck tomorrow i'll update you guys and obviously you guys are gonna see in the video but yeah stay tuned who knows we may catch a 30 pound catfish peace what is up guys this is day number two of the catfishing video we got the jugs here in the water it's been right around 24 hours since we set them out and we see uh, one of our jugs right up here 
It's not moving or anything, so we don't know if it has anything, but we're about to check it out real quick. You see anything? No. Nothing? Okay, give it like a little tug. If not, we'll leave this one for when we, for when we come back. Is the bait still on? Oh, the bait's gone though. Oh, dang, okay. All right, well, something took that. All right, well, we'll, yeah, we'll, see how it is. We'll see how it is. clean that up. All right, All right. we'll check the other ones. We're about to head to the back over here. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll see if we find another one. All right, guys, I see one of our jugs and our, one of our jugs is actually moving. It looks really, really funny. I don't know if you guys can tell over there in the distance. It just went really deep. Oh, you guys can't see it now. Dang, we were just not looking at them. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up on top of the water. I don't know if you guys can see that, like right over there. So that catfish or whatever fish it is, it's moving. We have this other jug. This is our homemade jug over here. So we're going to get that one first and then we'll focus on whatever fish that is. But yeah, it looks kind of funny moving up and down like that. Anything? Oh, okay, and our baits are gone too. All right. What is this? Well, that's interesting. Huh. Okay then. All right, so that's no, that's two two zero now. But we got, I know we got that fish over here, so that'll be interesting. So you guys stay tuned for that. I can literally see it right there. It's kind of going up and down and up and down. So that'll be an inter interesting uh, encounter. You guys are about to see. Yeah, he should be in there. He's gonna get spooked here in a second. I don't know how big he is though. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, you missed him. Hold on, let me see if I can. Fall back up some. All right, he's going deep. That's all right, we'll catch him here. As long as we can spot him. Oh wow, he's going really deep. <laughs> he, can't, he can't go too deep for long. All right, he's coming up, he's coming up right here. Oh my God, holy cow. Oh, we got a giant, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh, dude, that is giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't push him too much. Put him on the net. Grab him by the net. Because I hooked my brake off. He's a giant, giant catfish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This thing is giant. Oh lord, that thing is massive. Holy cow. No, it won't fit the net, will it? Hold up, we need to grab him before you got it. Okay, you might have to grab him by the gill. Because if the hook comes off, it's done. Oh my gosh. Let him, don't give him too much pressure. I don't know how, how. Yeah, we don't know how well he's hooked. Yeah, how well his hooks are. Is he, is he hooked in good? Mm. Uh, he might be hooked in good. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Guys, this is insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hold up, let me see. I can not the net will do much. Oh, the net was messed up, that's why. Let's see if we can bring him in. Like that and all the way. Yep, okay, we got him now. We got him, we got him. The net, the net was just messed up. Bring him over here. Oh my gosh, oh, look dude. at this massive thing. That's definitely 20 plus. Holy cow. That's definitely 20 plus. That is insane. That's a massive catfish. Holy cow. That is insane. Like I know we've caught big catfish, but that one's that one's pretty massive. It's it always amazes me every time we catch like this giant giant catfish. That is insane. Holy cow. That's a big boy. We might need pliers for this one. Yeah, let me get some pliers here in a second. Good. Holy cow. All right, so finally we got the hook out of the beast and we got him here. He's breathing good. All right, man, pull him up. Let's weigh this bad boy. I hope that over here. <laughs> he barely fits All in right. there. Let's get that scale. God. We also got mine. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, still for Like, compare that to like, 
my hand is that big. Like he's fat. I don't think I don't think he's too long, but he's super fat. Super fat catfish. Look at that. Look at that blubber. Look at that shake. Ooh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thick. <laughs> He's not off the ground. I lift him up higher. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> so weak. Alright. 36-31. Dude, 36. 36-31. Holy crap. On the dot. Yeah, look at that. 36. 31. Massive, massive oh. catfish. Holy cow guys. That is insane. 36 pound oh, catfish. And I'm pretty sure that's a blue cat, so I mean they can grow up to like a hundred and god knows what else. That is insane. Well, let me see. Oh, it wasn't saved. But yeah, you guys saw it. 36, 31. 36, 31. That is crazy. So now we're gonna we're gonna take its length and then it should be on its way home. Well right guys, so we got the catfish here and we actually weighed him, we weighed him again, and he ended up being like 39.11, and then we weighed him again, it was like 38. So he's right around the range of like 36 to 40 pounds. I mean, this is a massive catfish, definitely our biggest so far. Maddie's got him here. We already got a few pictures and everything, so now, you know, we gotta release these beasts back into the wild. And look at that bucket mouth. Holy crap. Yeah, we got big fish here. So, you know, dealing with these things, we gotta be careful because, you know, if one of these dies, that'll be pretty unfortunate um, and pretty stinky too, so you never know. But yeah, so we got them, and I guess overall, the jugs work. It's a, a, to me, it's a very successful jug fishing video. And I'm sure to Maddie yeah, as yeah. well. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna catch the release for you guys. All right. <clears throat> yeah so this was a very very cool video i mean everything from you know cutting up the bait to sticking them in the in the noodles to like watching the noodles swim away and everything i think it was super super cool i know maddie can definitely say the same um so if you guys want other type of videos like this like good catfishing videos and everything let us know in the comments down below uh, i know we'll be we will be more than happy to make some more catfish videos and actually have like better equipment like better scales and everything because i know we had like two different scales and they both messed up. So that's why like after like 35 pounds, they're kind of messed up a little bit. So we never know the actual recording. I mean, you can easily estimate like it could be a 40 pound catfish. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys. You know, if you guys want us to, uh, to make videos about the, the jugs and like how to make the jugs, let us know. But thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next Bye. time. Peace.